Extinction is a threat that our world faces every day, and when one thing goes extinct, they're gone forever. Yet some have fought this, and have also fought to save creatures from going extinct. And they do succeed sometimes. I'm Bob from World 5 List. Join me as I show you nine animals that almost went extinct. Number 9. The Brown Pelican Now you may think that birds are exempt from being endangered or near extinct, but that's not the case. Birds are just as susceptible to things like human expansion, changing ecosystems, and for the brown pelican, being exposed to certain chemicals. Now the brown pelican was doing just fine in its life and its population size. That was until a pesticide known as DDT started to appear in its food chain meaning that what it was eating was infected with the pesticide. A side effect of eating creatures with DDT in them is that the pelican's eggs became unusually thin. So thin, in fact, that when mother brown pelicans sat on their eggs, they'd end up crushing them. Now, it's a horrifying thought in any context, and because of this, their population began to plummet, putting them dangerously close to extinction. However, the Endangered Species Act ended up finding out and implemented steps and regulations to try and save them, which made a big impact on the brown pelicans. They were also moved to areas where pesticide could not be found, thus helping them even more. Number 8. The American Alligator now, this is one that might get you into a bit of a huff because the American alligator was on the endangered species list and then saved to a remarkable extent. So why would you be up in arms? Well, it's because it's an alligator. And you might be thinking that this sometimes very dangerous creature isn't really worth saving, but that's not true. And I'm going to tell you why. You see, as dangerous as the alligator is, if we humans feel that we can kill it, we don't really care how dangerous it is. During the 1960s, there was a rash of hunting of crocodiles and alligators because of their special hides. The American alligator, which resides in the southeast of the United States, was particularly devastated by the spree of killing, making their numbers fall to shocking levels. But then again, the ESA got involved, as did the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other agencies who knew that the alligator shouldn't go extinct because of the drive of humanity. And I'm happy to say that they actually succeeded. In fact, it wouldn't be so much of a stretch to say that they exceeded their expectations. Because today, there are 5 million American alligators in the United States, and that's reason to celebrate. But it's also fine if you don't want to go near them. Number 7. The Stellar Sea Lion But before I talk about sea lions, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you have your notifications turned on so you get more awesome videos like this one in the future. Now just for the record, the Stellar Sea Lion is the creature's actual real name. I wouldn't put a species on my list and call it stellar, just for no reason, I'm just saying. Focusing on what's important, sea life is often the most endangered when it comes to man-made intervention. Sure, we expand on the land, but we do just as many terrible things in the sea that can put numerous species in danger. And one of those creatures is the stellar sea lion. Now, like many other creatures under the sea, and even some above it, certain activities by man have hurt them greatly. I'm talking about illegal hunting, getting hit by high-speed boats, getting entangled in fishing nets, oil spills, you know, a little bit of everything. With each event taking more and more out of the population. Now, by 1990, the species had fallen under the protection of the ESA, and to that end became regiments that would help lead it from being 18,000 in number to nearly 70,000 in number. Now, it wasn't always easy. The population was rounded up and split into two distinct groups, one of which suffered at times while the others boomed. Either way, the species is now alive and kicking, and has even been taken off the endangered species list, with the caveat that there is a plan in place to make sure that it doesn't start getting killed again. Number 6. Lake Erie Water Snake Now snakes, they're another creature on the list that you might think shouldn't be saved, despite their importance to the ecosystem. 
However, in the case of the Lake Erie water snake, it wasn't just the population of humans that nearly wiped them out. They also saved them and did so fairly recently. You see, the snake gets its name because it lives near the islands that reside in the Great Lakes, but because of illegal killings and certain interferences by humanity, the numbers of the snake would begin to drop to such levels that it became a threatened species in 1999. This is where the twist comes in, because when the local population heard about it, they took action to prevent it. And when I say took action, I mean that they went full-on gung-ho. They rallied together and created their own campaigns in order to save the snake. Now anything and everything they could do for the snake, they ended up doing. And to give them credit, by 2011, the Lake Erie water snake was in such high numbers, it was taken off the endangered species list. A remarkable feat and proof that humanity sometimes just needs a call to action to save the day. Number 5. The Whooping Crane Now, while all the species on my list came dangerously close to extinction, you could argue that none was closer than the Whooping Crane. It was the year 1941, and an estimated 21 whooping cranes existed between Canada and the United States. <laughs> That's right, between two massive countries, there were only 21 total of these birds. So what exactly happened? Well, they were hunted to near extinction, as well as finding their homes being ravaged by human expansion. They had nowhere to go, and all they could do was have the humans follow them wherever they did end up. So what exactly could they have done? Well, thankfully, efforts eventually got underway to help save them, but it wasn't really a quick process. Multiple agencies have been working together to try and save these beautiful birds, which are the tallest birds in North America, if you didn't know. Still, though, they kept up the good fight, and fast-forwarding to today, there are over 600 whooping cranes that are alive and breeding. From 20 to 600 is really something to cheer for, and hopefully the numbers continue to rise. Number 4. The Island Night Lizard now, there's a whole lot of factors that can lead to the extinction of a population, but one you may not consider is the introduction of certain species to lands that they weren't in before. Ecosystems are a delicate balance of life and death. Every creature has their place, their role, their predators, and their prey. And when a new being is thrown into the mix, well, it can change things in a drastic fashion, which is how the island night lizard was almost killed. These interesting lizards populate only San Clemente Island, San Nicolas Island, and Santa Barbara Island in California. The herbivores had a good life and a good supply of food. However, suddenly creatures that had never been to the islands before were now surrounding them cats, goats, pigs, and other herbivores started to eat their food, making it difficult for them to make it their home. Then, in 1977, the Fish and Wildlife Service sprung into action to save them. It was a multi-part process, beginning with the removing of non-native animals and cleaning up the areas where they like to make their homes. Then, by the mid-1990s, they had succeeded, and the island night lizards are now numbering in the 20 millions, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. Number 3. The Grizzly Bear Now another creature that you might think couldn't go extinct is the grizzly bear. I mean, come on! It's a grizzly bear! They're mean killers! They're vicious! They're one of the most dominant and powerful species on Earth. So, how did they almost die completely? Well, while the grizzly is powerful, a bullet is just as powerful. And even more than that, when you limit where they can live, it hurts the population at large. Before the expansion of Europeans, there were over 50,000 grizzly bears in the United States. But by the time that the Manifest Destiny movement was complete, they were down to just 2% of their original numbers. 
what's even more shocking is that it took until 1975 to try and get them saved. And though they've been delisted from the endangered species list and put on threatened list, their fight is far from over. Current estimates put their numbers at 1,800, which is a far cry from the tens of thousands that they once had, yet there is hope. There have been a lot of new grizzly bear cubs that have been brought into the world, and many of them living in Yosemite National Park, while others roam certain protected areas free and clear. The point here is, it doesn't really matter how big or small you are, there's always a danger in losing your species, and we have to help to ensure that it doesn't happen. Number 2. The Peregrine Falcon now, when you look at this majestic bird, you may think that it's the king of the skies, but even kings can fall to poison. And this particular man-made poison nearly wiped out the species half a century ago, and it didn't get saved until pretty recently, really. Well, the poison in question, you know very well, DDT. Now, as mentioned before, it affected the brown pelican, but it also affected the falcon and did similar things. For wherever this bird roamed, it was the apex predator and on top of the food chain. So whatever it wanted to eat, it did, but the problem was the food it ate had DDT inside of it. And just like its pelican brethren, it affected their offspring. Once they were put under the protection of the ESA, however, work immediately began to save them and a lot of money would be raised to help do so. And number one, the gray wolf. Now, I'll be completely honest, I'm kind of cheating on this one. Not because the gray wolf isn't saved or that it wasn't close to extinction, but because I love wolves, and the fact that we saved them from extinction makes me grin ear to ear. Thus, I'm putting them at the top of my list. But what almost happened to the gray wolf? Well, wolves in culture are almost always depicted as being evil. You know, wolf in sheep's clothing, a wolf in the night, the big bad wolf, and so on. Plus, as man would expand into the wilderness, they met up with the wolves. And unlike dogs, they saw them as threats. By the 1900s, the gray wolf's population had shrank drastically because of the hunting by humans, and it brought them to the brink of extinction. Thankfully, humanity soon began to understand the impact that the gray wolf had on its ecosystem and began to protect them. Now, I'm grateful that humanity didn't wipe out such a majestic creature, and hopefully it continues with many more animals to come. Thanks for watching. Are you happy that these species were saved from extinction? Maybe you know some others that should try and be saved next. Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time on World 5.